Let's go ahead and make a, uh, a, a Vesica Piscus. We'll construct that. I'm going to do it vertically right now. <clears throat> I'm just choosing a radius. doesn't really matter. Turn a circle. I'm trying to do this so it won't be in, I won't be blocking the camera, so I always end up. <laughs> this is not my normal method to turn the circle. There we go. Now, the again, the Vesica Piscus is the connected uh, circles. Oops, got out of the frame here. We'll put this one over here. Put this one right on this point and turn this circle. Use my hand, but it's just easier to turn the circle that way. Okay, now we've got our best. Our best. I'm going to go ahead and make my perpendicular line and connect the two points that it always it just forms naturally. I'm coming. I'm extending that lines out a little bit. Now I've got my radius here, right? It's this width here. I'm going to go ahead and come up to this point right here, and I'm going to make my mark here of that same width up here. Now, let's go ahead and put the point here in the middle. I want to make, let's go ahead and draw the semicircle right over here. Make a mark there and a mark over here. That'll give us the width of this circle right here. And I think, now, <clears throat> and how to measure with our compass now, I put it in the middle, and I go ahead and I'm going to make it come out to my, the width of this circle right here, this distance here is what I want, and I'm going to put my point here, make my line here, put my point over here, and make the line here. Now, I've got two points here, I'm going to leave the bottom open for right now. I've got the Vesica Piscus going vertically. I'm going to box it in. So what I've done is made those points there, but now I'm going to take my straight edge, connect the points. I'm going to connect this point to this point here, and I'm going to come on down with it. And the same over here also, from here to here, the two points that I'm using. Okay, now, again, we'll talk about it in a second, but uh, that's what we're trying to, dupl to duplicate here. And so I've got my first square here. And I'm going to take this measurement, which is what I have right here, and I'm going to allow me to extend this line out with my straight edge. I've already got it over here. I've got this distance right here. Now I'm going to put it in the intersection of these two lines and be precise about this. And I'm going to make a mark here, come up to this intersection and make a mark here. Now I can close that off. Go ahead. I'm going to, now I'm going to divide this in half. I've got a right triangle here. Next, I'm going, to so I'm going to take my compass, use it as to get my measuring device. I'm not going to use any, I'm not going to measure with any, not using numbers or anything. Everything's going to be done with the compass. Now I make my line down here from this, this line to this one. This line, that intersection to this one. So, first I'm going to divide this right here. I have a right triangle here. This is my 3, 4, 5 triangle, for example. This is a 3, distance of 3. This is a distance of 4. 3 to 4. Now, this is going to be the hypotenuse of this tri the right triangle. I want to take the measurement of the hypotenuse. From this point... I'm sorry. I want to divide the hypotenuse in half. So I'm going to go... I'm thinking midpoint is right about here. I extend my pencil a little bit longer... And just do like this. Now I go to the other corner and I'm dividing this 
and shape in half. Now I've got two points starting here to here. And I'm going to just draw that line in, extend that line. Now it's going right up in the middle of this. Let me go ahead and get my other measurements. Now we go back to the length of the hypotenuse here. This length right here. That's the one I want. I'm going to make a mark right up here. And I'm going to go to this corner over here, make the same mark. Now, I need, I'm going to take half of this measurement of the hypotenuse here, starting with, remember this line divided that in half. I'm going to take my compass, get this new measurement right here. I take it up here to the point of the, where the arc, the compass crossed, and I make my two marks there. Now, I'm going to connect these points to this, remember, this is a point here, and a, now a point here. I'm going to connect those. And I can come over here. I'm going to connect these two points here now. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn it upside down. And this is it. This is the visual representation of the Pythagorean theorem. Let's get an eraser, and I know it looks kind of confusing right now. Let's go ahead and erase some of these lines that we don't need. Kind of get this in mind of what we're doing here. It's always beautiful to leave the construction lines on it. For this particular instance though, I'm gonna go ahead and erase them. There we go. Now, <clears throat> now I'm gonna go back and darken in some of the lines. Let's make this a little bit. And here we have it. The Pythagorean theorem, this, of course, this angle right here, here's our right triangle. Let me find our triangle here to show you. This is 90 degrees. There's the right triangle. It fits perfectly in here. And what this is, this is, this is a distance of three. This is four. And this should be five. So if we look at our Pythagorean theorem, we've got a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Let's see if you can see this. So we've got three squared plus four squared equals c squared. That's uh, nine plus 16 equals c squared. So we've got 25 equals c squared, which means the square root of 25 equals C. The square root of 25 is 5. So this is 5. I've got this uh, Masonic ring. This belonged to my dad. 
it has the compass and the angle measurement in the ring. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's recreate this memory of all mason, masons out there. Let's go ahead and draw that line down the middle. Again, my, use my compass, go a little bit past half, just kind of make a line here. Get on this corner, make a line over here. Got that, do the same over here. Same over here. Now we've divided this in half. All right, now let's go ahead. Here we go. Now, so here we have it. Tribute to the Masons. And here we have it. The compass with the square. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Thanks a lot.